What is good, Grey Gang? We are out here today. Let me tell you, we have a mission. That mission includes three cane poles, three hooks, and about three pieces of bank line that's six foot long. Let me tell you, boys, we are going... Oh my gosh, I almost dropped the camera. Oh wow, that's the wrong way. Okay, here we go. We're going to create cane poles and then set them on the bank of the pond solely to catch turtles. Now, as you know, I have a pond. It's right down the hill. It's, it's a really good pond. It has a ton of catfish. Or at least it used to. Let me set the scene for you. Okay, there I am. I'm in a car. I'm not home. So my uncle goes fishing, right? He's like, okay, I'm kind of bored. I want to go fishing. Catch me some catfish in the pond. He goes over there with like three poles, casts his lines out. He sits there for about 10 minutes, doesn't get a bite. And keep in mind, my pond is full of catfish and they are always ready to eat. Well, about that time, he started looking up and he saw Ted's come up like this. And they were turtle! Not one, not two, but he spotted three at the same time. So we know there's at least three, probably more than that, various sizes. Now, if there's anything I know about turtles, there's some, there's a bad mamma jam, okay? You do not want to mess with them. But sometimes, like today, you have to. About a week ago, we randomly found a turtle in this pool pond, and about a week ago, we also found out that that turtle had red almost 90% of the population. Yeah, get that right, Thanos. You don't have anything on this turtle. Straight wiping out the population, okay? And now in my big pond where I had a ton of catfish, three turtles spotted, and he couldn't catch him a catfish. That is what is on my mind, son. I really hope not, but what I'm starting to think is those turtles may have infiltrated my pond and eaten my catfish. Now, you start, you're talking about starting a war. We've already had the war on predation. Not over yet, but we're about to start the war on turtleation. Or just the war on turtles, whatever you want to call it. But let me show you what we're working with. Because we are not an organized army, we still have to create our weapons right now. And so we have three cane poles right here. Pretty cool. What we're actually going to be doing, it's pretty simple. You get one of these cane poles, you stick it in the side of the bank to where it's not going to go anywhere. Then you tie some bank line right here from here down into the water. Then you put a hook right here. There's a hook right there. You probably can't see it because it's not focusing. But then you put a good piece of meat on there. The turtles come up, eat the meat. It's kind of simple at that point. It's basically fishing, but you can leave it for 24 hours. And surprisingly, the cane pole's not going to go anywhere if you stick it in deep enough. That's one of the things that amazes me, how this flimsy stick will surprisingly keep a turtle very well. This technique's also very popular with catfish, but we're not trying catfish. All my catfish are dead. In the belly of turtles. Still gets me. I can't. I can't do this. I can't. Just getting emotional, man. Not really. It's game time. But one of the reasons a cane pole like this can keep a turtle no problem is how flimsy it is. It gives so much that a turtle can't even break it at all. But enough jitter jatter. Let's go ahead and start creating these things. Get your bank line. We'll run about eight feet off of it. If it's too long, we can always cut it later. But here we go. Cage your pocket knife. Ready for duty. We are not going to waste any time here today. We're bringing her right up here, tying the knot. There we go, just like that. Doesn't have to be super perfect. I think this is rated for like almost 200 pounds, something like that. Then for this end, tie the hook. And just like that, guys, we're good to go. All we need now is a piece of fat back, which is the bait we're gonna be using. Go jab that in the water, and you're good to go, guys. You just wait and come back and check it maybe every 12, 24 hours, something like that. And after that, it's easy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tie up these other two. Then we'll see you down at the pond. Actually, we'll do a real quick time lapse. Okay, guys. The rods are rigged up. I'll see you down there where we're going to rig up the fat back. And we're just going to wreck these turtles. They wrecked my catfish. I'm gonna wreck them. Now, here we are, we're at the pond. We have the three cane poles. Let me show you what we're gonna be using. Fat back, some of y'all already know because we use it quite a bit for every time we try to do something with turtles. Let me get it out here. Got it in this container because it is stanky. It is kind of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Nasty. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. It's not too bad though. It's just like really weird meat. People eat it. Not me, I guess. But we need three pieces, so I think I'll cut it right here. There we go. And then we'll come right here and split it into three equal pieces. So, one, three. There we go. That should be perfect, guys. Now, I'll go ahead and start unhooking these babies and, uh, yeah, be putting them on the hook. One piece per hook, as you could imagine. We'll come in here. Be sure to hook it through the really uh, tough part, which is this. 
this is this is weird dude okay no it ain't bad that ain't bad at all just like that it ain't going nowhere that that skin right there extremely tough I, I mean extremely tough but before we go ahead and set out the cane poles we're gonna try to you know at least try to feed the catfish first I have a little bit of dog food here in the sardine can I'm just gonna throw it out there usually what happens is the catfish just come and eat it lately the catfish haven't been eating as good maybe because of the I don't know turtles yeah, that's kind of close, but it'll be okay. They'll get the point, okay? We just want them to be fed enough to not go crazy over the fat back. We want the fat back to strictly be for turtles only. And that means not catfish or bluegill. Bluegill are probably going to be pesky. But it's been a few seconds. Nothing has touched the dog food on top of the water. Now, yeah, I guess it is kind of normal. But usually, within about three seconds of it hitting the water, they're already hitting it. I don't know if the catfish just aren't active right now because it's maybe a little bit midday. Or if maybe these three turtles have just straight up wrecked them. I don't know, man. They could have put them in the coffin. They may have kicked the bucket. Terminated, son. Terminated. You are terminated. <laughs> But anyways, let's go ahead and start setting out the pole. Now we have three right here. Where are we gonna set them? I'm thinking one over there, one over there, one right here. So it's basically pretty evenly spaced out. All I'm gonna do is toss the fat back over in the water like that. And now I need to jab this in somehow right down in here into the bank. The harder the better. Oh gosh, this is not gonna be easy. I'll be right back. It requires a lot of force. Oh gosh, this is nasty. This is some tough stuff right here. This ain't gonna work. I ain't strong enough to jab it in there. That there is just gonna have to do, man. This is a lot, this is very labor intensive. I didn't think about this. Okay, guys, basically what you just seen me do there, really difficult. I'm gonna do the same thing right there and right there. Whenever it's done, I'll get back to you and show you that I actually did it, if I can do it. That's still to be determined though. And they're done. That one right there, it went in pretty easy. And this one down here also went in pretty easy. It's right down there. The thing is, the harder they are to put in, the harder they are to get out for a turtle or a catfish. The easier they are to get in, the easier they are for a turtle or catfish to get them out. And those two were really easy. Let's just hope we ain't got no big turtles. We got big turtles, son. We're done. We can't even, we can't do nothing about them. I mean, if the cane poles don't work, I don't know. I had to call up my cousin Turtle Man. They had to come down and help us out a little bit. Now all we do is wait. We'll probably, I'll probably come back and check it here in the evening, right before dark. And then first thing in the morning, keep y'all updated, of course. But if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Become a part of the Grey Gang. We do random stuff like this all the time. And if you're already part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and hit the like button on this video because you already know it's going to be a good one. Plus, the more likes we get, the less encouragement the turtles have to keep fighting. Because they have internet. I'm telling you guys, it's crazy. But okay, guys, it is actually the next day. I came back and checked them last night, but I don't think we had anything. Here's this one. I still don't think there's anything on it. We'll check it. There's one more right up here. I'm not sure if there's anything on it or not. However, over there, we have one. And I tell you, son, we definitely got something on it. It is going crazy. Unfortunately, I don't really believe it's a turtle just yet. Not yet. I believe it's a big cat. The line's stretched out, and it's moving kind of frequently. It's tightening up. He swimmed around a little bit. I really don't know if it's a catfish or turtle. I mean, it, it's honestly, it honestly could be a, it's a toss up. I think it's a catfish. I'm, I'm gonna make a guess and say it's a catfish. Just by the way he's moving, look at him. He's kind of covering ground pretty quick. Look at the pole bend, the pole's bending, son. He's taking it all over the place. I definitely think we got a catfish. I don't think a turtle would move that much. I feel like if we ever get a turtle, let's see what we got. Catfish, yeah, he's a cat. Oh goodness, oh snap. Cane pole fishing, I guess. I'm just going to pull him up on the bank the best I can. Mm. There we go. Now, this is not the we were looking for. These aren't the turtles you're looking for. Honestly, I feel like if we'd done this a week ago, we would have had a catfish on each one of the cane poles. But this time we only had one, and that kind of scares me. Now, for this catfish, not our targeted species, we're still looking for turtles. We'll just toss him right back in. Act like nothing ever happened. I'll come back with a fat back. Don't have it right now. I'll check those two as well. I don't think there's anything on them at all. But I'll rebate all three of them if they need it. Definitely rebate that one. Stick it back in. And then I'll tell you what, guys. We'll just come back every half day and keep checking them just like that. And then eventually, we'll get one of the turtles in here. Okay, guys. We are back at the pond. We got something big on this one. I mean, it's been in the pole straight over. Uh... I don't know what it is, whether it's a catfish or a bat, I mean a catfish or a turtle, 
But you can see right there, that line's going crazy, and he's pulling pretty hard, too. Fun fact with this exact pole, I actually came in here last night. I would already take a shower. I was ready to get in the bed. My uncle called me. He's like, hey, uh, there's something going crazy on this line. You better get down here. And I told him to check it to, you know, see if it was a catfish or a turtle, because I didn't really want to come down here if it was just a catfish. But he said, no, nah, dude, it's a turtle. So I came down here. It was a turtle. Then I pulled it up, and it was gone. It literally got off right in front of my face. Oh, my goodness, dude. This thing's fighting so hard. So we have that one on the line. I came over here immediately and, you know, looked over there, because that was when we caught the catfish on last time. What is my thing doing? And then I noticed it was gone. And then I looked over and noticed that it was in the water sticking out. Do you see that? We'll get that here in a minute. First, let's get this guy, because I don't know what he is. And just like last night, if we give him too much time, he can get off pretty easy. He may just be a cat, though. Hopefully, he's not. Let's see, we got... No, oh, yeah, he's a cat. Just a cat. Got me wet. Oh, early in the morning, already got muddy. Oh, just for a catfish. I'm just kidding. He's not just a catfish. Catfish are awesome. We'll try to take him off as easy as we can, man. There we go. Hook came out pretty easy. We'll just come in and grab this guy the best we can and toss him right back in. So he can go back and do whatever he was doing. Now let's go over here and try to figure out how to get this one, man. It's it's down in the water. I don't, I don't even understand what's going on here. Check this one over here in this corner first. I don't think it has anything, though. This one's the one that's got me a little concerned, man. I mean, it's just it's down in the water, bro. And I can't get to it because it's too far out there. Hopefully, oh, whoa, it's moving. It's moving, man. What in? He hears me, whatever it is. Hears me. It's a big turtle big turtle son i can i can tell by the bubbles coming up if we can somehow get this pole out we got us a massive turtle on the end of it i can tell you that for sure either that or some massive catfish or like lake monster i ain't sure though probably either turtle or lake monster though i don't think a catfish would do that i got a few options right now i can go home get the kayak or i can go get some kind of treble hook and try to snag the line now getting the kayak would definitely be easier but it'd also be a lot more work so i don't know if it'd be easier or not i think i'm just gonna go get my fish pole 30 pound braid giant treble hook and we're just gonna try to snag the line i don't know guys but we got something big i know that okay guys we're back at the pond now i went and got the giant treble hook now i'm just gonna try to snag the line and bring it in i'm gonna have to set the camera down i can't hold the camera in my hand um i'm having a feeling this is a pretty big turtle and i may have a hard time with it i'm definitely gonna need as many hands as I can. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Here I go. This ain't gonna be easy at all. See how we can do this if we can. Okay, I'm gonna let that hit the bottom and then drag it and just try to catch the line. Oh my, oh my goodness. Dude, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, dude. What in the world is going on here? What in the... You're kidding. You gotta be kidding. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, son. So, you're saying... What? What? You know what happened there? What in the world? You're kidding. You're kidding didn't even get him. So you're telling me that last night I caught a catfish. Then he went and got tangled up. Still was a pretty big catfish. I mean, he still he still yanked the pole out of the, out of the you know, the bank. But then he went and got tangled up in this big thing. And that's why he was so heavy and made the bubbles. I just feel dumb now. I literally thought I had the biggest turtle in the world on. And I mean, oh my gosh. Wow. I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I don't know how to feel about that. I kind of just got played. I guess we still don't have a turtle. I will get back with you guys whenever we get a turtle. We almost had us a turtle last night, but something just happened. I was a little bit too late. It got away from us. Well, I, we, I'm not I'm not giving up just yet, guys. I really do think we can get one pretty soon. The next day. Yeah, we definitely got a turtle. Okay, guys, we're here. Um, we checked the cam poles. Nothing on the far one. I believe we definitely got one on this because the line is into the bank. What usually happens with the turtle, first thing they want to do is sink up. And this guy came to the bank and sunk up. I'll try my best. Come on now. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's baby. go. That's what we're looking for. Big old snapper, son. Big old snapper. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm riding him. I'm riding him. The hook's barely in the top of his mouth. Yeah, so we don't want him to get back in the water. No, I kind of need to grab him first. All right, now we got him. We can probably take the hook out of him, but we're not definitely not going to. 
Ooh, we got nowhere to put ooh, him. Ooh, ooh. Try it, ain't it? We don't. Let me see him. He looks like up close. I bet you I can take the hook out like this. You did? Nope. Yep. Just like that. It hooks out. <laughs> now we have to find somewhere to put him. And that's something we don't have right now. We're just not expecting this. No. Nope. Where are we going to put this sucker? I don't know. Here. Try to tip this over. The sucker's big. We may find a snake in here. We may do it. That'll be good. Just pull it over. It may be really hard. Ain't coming. There you go. Man. I don't know what I don't know what to do with him. We didn't plan on catching one. Right, we're gonna put this guy in the back of the mule for just a second. Adam's going to go somewhere and just find something. Hey, a garbage bag or anything, just enough to where we can get him back home. We may just have to take this guy just as he is. We really may not get an option. Dude, he's trying to get me. He can definitely get out of here. He can definitely get out of the mule. We really don't want to keep him in here very long as we don't have to. Okay guys, I think we're just going to make a break for it. He's back there, he's kind of starting to chill out now. I think we just gotta make a move for him. I think we just gotta move and hope that he doesn't jump out on the way. And if he does jump out, I guess we'll have to jump out with him and get something to pick him back up. He's destroying this bag. First thing we gotta do, wash him off. Get that blood out of his mouth. Just get all the main dirt off of him. Look at him trying to bite the water. He keeps trying to bite the water. This one's aggressive. Yeah, he is. We'll see if he'll walk in it like the last one. You see this? He's got me stoked. Thank you. And then we'll uh, fill up the bucket just like the last turtle, and you're pretty soon we'll actually eat it. And I tell you what, Greg Gang, I know we're going to end the video right here, but at least we got a turtle. It wasn't easy. It took a lot of time. And a lot of catfish, unfortunately. But we did get a turtle. And what's his name? Nothing. Because we don't name things we eat. It is Saturday, and it is time for the verse of the week. Now, this verse isn't really a verse. It's more like a verse cluster, and I'm not really going to read them to you. I'm just going to summarize them in my own words. And they are coming from the book of John. So, one day, our homeboy Jesus is walking into town with his squad back behind him, also known as the disciples. And, you know, he's just walking into town. He's like, hmm, I think I'm hungry. I want a fig. So, he walks over to a fig tree, and it's like, don't have any figs on us. So, he's like, hey, die. And then they just keep on walking. And then they go into town, they do stuff, they come back the next day. And as they're walking back past that tree, keep in mind, Jesus told that tree to die the day before. So the squad's just walking behind Jesus, and then they're like, Oh, snap, bro. Oh. Ooh. Bro, the tree's dead. And then Jesus turns around like, yeah, I told it to die. And he's basically like, didn't you think I could? And so that right there is like a thugged out version of a story in John. The basic principle is how Jesus told this thing to die. The disciples behind him saw him do it, but they didn't really think much about it until they came through the next day and seen that he had actually done it. They were kind of freaking out because they really didn't believe it was going to happen. But Jesus, he was chill the whole time, man. He's like, yeah, I told it to do that. He knew it was happening. That's just a little bit of something about faith. He had faith that what he said he'd do, He'd do. The disciples, on the other hand, they didn't have a ton of faith because they kind of questioned and was amazed at what God said he was going to do. That's just a little story on faith. If you want a clearer sense, you should probably go read it in John. But one thing I'm going to tell you is that next week's verse also has a little bit to do with faith. So faith may just be the topic for the next few videos. Like this video, make sure to leave a like, and show your entire family this video in case they like it. You never know. I showed my cat and she sure did like it. This video was 100% amazing and don't forget to get your merch down below.